day five. Let me stop playing. So I wanted to review this Mason Carvalho, um sample collection. I bought this collection in February. Yeah, I wanted to incorporate new scents into, I wanted to start getting new scents. I've been a, uh, I ain't the type of girl. I ain't the type of woman and I wanna be, but I just didn't really know where to start. So I watched Peyton Marie Charles and if y'all don't watch Peyton Marie Charles, Y'all probably be watching some other good people too, but y'all really need to put her in y'all rotation because sis is where it's at. So she got me really interested in um, the Mason Cravalli, um, like the different scents that she was talking about. So I found a sample set from uh, the website and so I bought it. Bought it in February. I really didn't do anything with it. Now, out of this collection that I'm gonna be sampling today, there's one that I'm not gonna be sampling and that's the Rose, Rose, however you pronounce it, because I used it all. That's how much I liked it. It was a little sample, so it's not much, but that, that's how much I liked it. So, um, I have on here all of the um, notes for each one. And so I want to go through them. So because y'all gonna help me pick out some scents that that's what we doing. So let's let's get right into it. So the first scent is the boys, I believe. I like this. The notes are woody, fruity, warm, spicy, green and smoky. I definitely smell the woody. I smell the fruity. The warm spicy, which is like a cinnamon type undertone, in my opinion. It has a fresh smell that would be the green. And it's like a, it does have a smoky type. Almost like toasted cinnamon. I like it. So I use these sample sticks and I sprayed it earlier and they've been sitting because I wanted to make sure that all of the scents dry down. So I really, I really like that scent. This, this one, if I had to do a scale from one to 10, this will be, this one will be like an eight for me. It is not strong. It's a very, in my opinion, it has a this is one of those like don't spray too much. I could see this lasting all day and having a nice scent. This is the type where like, I was I would spray this on my pillow. This would be something that I would like to smell on my way to bed. So I, I do like this one. I would give this one like a, a eight thus far. We, we, we starting off on a roll. So I do like, I like that. So I let them all dry down because when you first spray them, they smell totally different. They smell totally different. So, Y'all see my little yeah because i said you know we we getting spicy it's late too that's that's part of it too as well the next scent is fleur i ain't even trying to pronounce the rest of it because i already know i'm gonna butcher it um notes are white floral green aromatic fresh spicy citrus floral mossy and fresh so let's see this is strong this is giving me it's giving white diamonds My grandmother used to wear white diamonds and this is giving me, it's giving Elizabeth Taylor. I don't hate it. I don't hate it, but I wouldn't want this to be the scent that people associate me with, not at this age. It's all of those. So this is absinthe. Is it absinthe? Not absentinth. It's absinthe. See, I like this. This is giving like a pow powdery type smell, though. The notes are aromatic, fresh, spicy, herbal, woody, and lavender. I get that it's very aromatic. It does have a fresh, spicy, very herbal. I don't really smell the woody, but I do smell the lavender. I like it though. That one I would get, hmm, I'll get this like a seven. Seven and a half, eight, like the like the boys. I do like that. Next we have the lice. I'ma read the notes first to see if I catch it. Woody, fruity, powdery, 
amber sweet musky white floral aromatic earthy and iris so let's see about this lice i like this though oh wait a minute i do smell the sweet and the fruity and the powdery i do smell the white floral it is a bit musky but in a good way it is aromatic i could tell that this is something that you could put on and this is a what you got on smell for me to me it is earthy iris i don't know what iris is as a scent i don't know what iris is iris scent leading base notes of violet the iris fragrance can vary slightly from plant to plant giving off additional spicy woody and dry notes the delicate suede like fresh fresh fleshy scent is what you get when you open a powdery cosmetic case or apply lipstick i get that now i know what iris scent is y'all yeah i get that i like this oh okay i like this this is a nine for me this is a nine the next is the citrus. Now, I'm going to tell you this. When I, I had mixed the citrus and the rose or rosé, I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. I really did. The citrus notes are aromatic, warm, spicy, citrus, fresh, spicy, green, woody, earthy, sweet, amber, and fruity. Let's see. It's very light. Is this this reminds me of like a um like a body spray. Maybe I ain't spraying up on this strip, but that's what I'm getting. It is aromatic. It does have a very light, warm, spicy undertone. It's not overbearing. Nor is the citrus. It does have a nice fresh, like spring timey type vibe. The green, yeah. The woody, yeah, and earthy. It does have a sweet, like a sweet, almost like a, um, I don't want to say like, like peachy candy or something like that. Like wine candy. I'm telling my age, but if anybody's watching this and y'all, anybody that's watching this that know about wine candy, like the peach, yeah. I'm not really smelling, smelling the amber and it is giving fruity, which would be the reason for the peach wine candy um, reference. I don't know that I would get this, but it's not a bad scent. It's not a bad scent. This would be like a three. This would be like a three for me. The lights was, yeah. That'd be like a three for me. The next one is Osmanth. O S M A N T H E. Osmanth. Osmanthy. I don't know. Anywho, the notes are floral, soft, spicy, fruity, anise, fresh, spicy, patchouli, green, woody, fresh, amber. Let's see what anise is. Anise or aniseed is flavoring and fragrance agent similar to licorice, fennel, or tarragon. The herbaceous plant is native to the Mediterranean and Southwest Asia and is a popular spice in candy and liquors. The aroma purportedly attracts fish and is used to scent fishing lures. Now I'll say this. One thing y'all don't know about me is I love licorice. I'm the, like, I'm the who eats black jelly beans tear them up my favorite candy is good and plenty don't judge me because why are you doing that in 2022 in 2022 don't don't do that that's crazy don't do that oh i don't like it it's not bad but it's not me i do smell the, the i can't even talk this is really different Is that the patchouli? That's it's something that's overtaken. I do smell the floral and the soft spicy for sure. It does have fruity. I don't smell the anise, and I know what licorice smells like. Fresh spicy, I get that. The patchouli, I get that. The green, I get that. The woody, I get that. 
It does have a fresh tone to it. Amber, yes. I'm not getting the anise. And don't play because the more I smell it, the more I kind of like it. But it, it, this also has to me a, I don't want to say, I don't want to offend nobody. I don't want to say grandma type fit, grandma type scent, but so the next one that we have is Santal, 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 Santal. Y'all know which one I'm talking about. The notes are warm, spicy, woody, powdery, citrus, and aromatic. They get me with the powdery. They get me with the powdery because I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. This smells like something that I would smell on a man. All these scents are, are unisex. What is this? Santal. I get it. I get the warm, spicy, woody, powdery citrus, and it's aromatic. This gives me like a light color for me. Maybe I'm I'm just not um, developed enough to appreciate this scent in all of its No, It smells very good, but this is something that, you know... This is something where it makes me want to, because you know when you get, I like it, but I don't like it for me. This is something that you you get and it's like, I really should like try these scents out individually on my skin because it's one thing, it's, it's going to smell one way on here, but it's going to smell another way on me. And so that's something to think about. So I might do a, a time where I just kind of, um like wear wear the wear a scent for a day or like put the scent on me and then be able to say okay well today this is what this is like this is what because i feel like that might be a little better i because i do like the santal but is that how you say it i feel like i i feel like i naturally said it correctly i do like the santal but on the strip it's giving cologne and i don't want to wear cologne i like the smell of cologne but i don't want to wear cologne so this is Iris, um, Melacon. I told, I said I wasn't going to do that. This is Iris. The notes are powdery, Iris, aromatic, vanilla, green, leather, woody, balsamic, animalic, and soft, spicy. How you spell that? Yeah, yeah, I'm that type of girl. Animalic. 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 That's what Google said. Google said it's animalic. I mean, who who are me to judge? That was Iris. No, this is Iris. I ain't even tried it yet. That word threw me off. And then soft spicy. I like this. I smell the powdery, the iris. Ooh, I smell the yeah. I smell the, it's very aromatic, aromatic, vanilla for sure. Green, I would have picked up the vanilla without this. Green, leather, woody, balsamic. I should have been looking up what the fuck it was while I'm trying to figure out how to uh, pronounce it. Hold up, y'all, let me cut. Animalic scents are typically ones that smell like skin, fur, body smells, etc. Classically, they are musk. Originally from beavers and deer. They always fucking it up with that. Don't don't tell me these things. Don't tell me these things. I like this. It it does. It is. Is this does this have an art to be getting dark? That's ridiculous. It's it's very vanilla y. I'll get that like a six. I would give that a six. The next one is patchouli. Damn, we almost done already, guys. We're doing good. Patchouli is patchouli, woody, warm, spicy, vanilla, balsamic, amber, earthy, powdery, fruity, and white floral. Mm, I'm interested. I don't like it on here. So far, this is my least favorite. I feel like the patchouli is just kind of... The patchouli 
it's like I smell like patchouli, patchouli and powdery. And I don't like that together. I can smell a little bit of the vanilla. It's and the white floral. I don't like it. This is this is a one. This is a one. And for me. But I still would wear it for a day just to see what it smells like on me. This is the papyrus molecular. Uh, the scents are woody, aromatic, fresh, spicy, balsamic, amber, leather, tobacco, sweet, warm, spicy, and green. Tobacco. All right. I like it. I'll be very, very interested to see what this smells like on me because I like it on hair, but I will, I will be interested to know like what the body chemistry would be like. My body chemistry would be like with this scent. This is a scent where you know it's going to smell different on everybody. This is more like a, oh, what you got on? This is not a, is that papyrus molecular? I don't think this is how it would be from person to person. I just don't. I smell the woody. It's very aromatic. It's definitely fresh, spicy. Balsamic, amber. I do have a leather undertone. The tobacco. Mm, it's sweet, warm, spicy, and green. I could see tobacco. I could see tobacco being in this, but it's not. It's very light. And so the last one, you guys, that we have is the hibiscus. I like this. The notes are floral, rose, vanilla, aromatic, green, fresh, spicy, soft, spicy, fruity, leather, and musky. I'm getting all of that. This is the first one where I literally smell all of these. See, I like this. I like this. So, the picks that I like. What was the issue with the lights? Yeah, it was really light. The lights, the lights is light. So for me, the ones that I like are the boys, the, the absinthe. I do like the papyrus molecular and I like the hibiscus. My least favorite one was the patchouli. Was it the patchouli that I liked the least? I believe so. Yes, it was definitely the patchouli was the, the one that I liked the least. I'm going to buy some of these. This one is my favorite. The absinthe is my favorite. It has a very feminine. It's very, it's, it's, it's pretty. If I, I can't even, that's like, I can't even describe it no other way. I know for sure that, um, I'm going to be getting the rose. I want to just see what. I want to see what the notes are for the rose because I really, really like that. The notes for the rose is marine, rose, salty, aromatic, aquatic, musky, and sand. And I really like the rose. So the rose and the absinthe. I, love, I like it. I like the papyrus molecular and I also like the hibiscus. Ooh. Cause it's one thing, it's one thing for it to be a good scent. It's another thing for it to be like, I would like to smell like this. Girl.